Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. So you don't like the way your life is going, right? Well, what if we told you you could transform your life before the clock even hits a.m.? 8 a.m. Yeah, you could be done by now, okay? Our next guest has the not-so-obvious secret to transforming any area of your life. It is all in his new book. It's called The Miracle Morning, and he is going to spill the beans with us right now. So welcome, Hal Elrod. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's an exciting time for me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get into the secrets and what we need to do, but first, we have to talk about your story because sure. it is the inspiration for seizing the opportunity to transform your life. So you were 20, a drunk driver hit you head on, 70 miles an hour. You were dead, dead for six minutes. Yes. I mean, this is unbelievable. So what happened after that? Uh, well, six days later, I came out of a coma and found out that I had broken uh, six bones, uh, or sorry, 11 bones on the left side of my body, and the doctor said I would never walk again and could be a vegetable for the rest of my life. Look at that photo, oh my goodness. And I, uh, I said, you know what, the doctors might be experts in medicine, but they're not experts in me. Mm -hmm. And I told my parents, mom and dad, stop crying, stop worrying, I'm gonna figure this out, we're gonna take this thing head on and it'll be okay. And three weeks later, I took my first step and the doctors couldn't even explain it, so. Oh my and gosh. from the first step, you have now become an ultra Ultra runner? marathon runner. I, I <laughs> <laughs> say it's deceiving to say I've become an ultra marathon runner because it sounds like I do more than one, but yeah. it was a bucket list item. It was, yeah. I hate running, and the doctor said I'd never walk again, so yeah. why don't I just run a marathon? And then I once mean, I did that, I said, why not an ultra marathon? Of course, yeah, let's why not? Just yeah. prove them wrong. If I could run 26, <laughs> right. I could run 52. And yeah. we talk about like yeah. the injuries you had, and I know, Jada, you wanted to get into this a little bit yeah. too. What happened with your brain? So I experienced uh, frontal lobe damage, which is the most common in a head-on collision. At 70 miles an hour, when my body stopped, my brain was still traveling 70 miles an hour into the front of my skull. Oh my gosh. And, yeah. uh, and it just it smashed the front of my brain, which caused me to have very little, almost no short-term memory. And I was uninhibited. I literally said everything a 20-year-old guy thinks. No, that's oh. really yeah. scary. Yeah, and, and I, had, I had this really attractive nurse, Nurse Wendy, oh who had to bathe no. me. So you could imagine no. the things that came out of my mouth. No. It was, yeah. My is that, I mean, is that something you see? Yes, we see a lot of uh, trauma. And you know, one of the things I thought was interesting because we talked about it earlier, Hal, is that you had the um, physical trauma, but then there was a psychological trauma as sure. well that you had to work through. And a lot of that, you use positive thinking to kind of to turn reframe. it. And I call it the reframe. Yeah. You know, just really starting to see things more positive. How did you do that? Well, for me, I, I learned something. I was in sales at this time. Okay. And uh, I learned something in sales called the five minute rule, which okay. says it's okay to be negative when you know you have a bad day, but not for more than five minutes, right? You know, oh, you know, mm -hmm. curse, moan, complain, vent, scream. Yeah. System, yeah. <laughs> but then you literally, for me, it was three magic words. Can't change it. Mm -hmm. Can't change it. So there's once something is out of your control, it's in the past. Yep. Feeling bad about yep. it is you're yep. causing that. It's right. not because people think it's the thing makes me feel bad, but it's the fact that we're not willing to accept whatever it is that we're we're putting our energy into. So for me, I couldn't walk again. They said. I said, Mom and Dad, if I never walk again, mm -hmm. I'll be the happiest person in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now Love here's that. something wow. interesting. So in the book, The Miracle Morning, you talk about what you call your second rock bottom, and so yeah. this happened eight years after the car accident, but how can it get any worse than that? What was the second rock bottom? Well, it was it was a common rock bottom that a lot of Americans experienced, which is when the US economy crashed, my business failed. So I went from being okay. really successful, had just bought my first house, just bought my first new car, like it probably shouldn't have bought them at the same time, <laughs> but uh, typical Hindsight. American, right? Yeah. And, uh, and then the economy crashed and my business failed. And here's the difference is when I woke up out of my coma, that really was rock bottom. Like it couldn't get worse than that. So it was all positive, like all optimistic. But in, when the economy crashed in 2008, 2009, it was getting worse every day. Yeah, My bank account yeah. balance was getting lower, and I got deeply depressed and uh, and didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. And you know, it, it just didn't really. And want it was to a go different on. kind of challenge. I mean, coming out of a coma and being told you can never walk again, you're like, yes, I can. But then mm -hmm. it's a different kind of challenge when you're hitting rock bottom from a money perspective, right? right? Sure. I mean, and also I didn't have when I was in the hospital. It was I was in a safe place mm -hmm. with mom and dad right. and friends and yeah. nurses and doctors mm -hmm. and love. And support. Right. This time I was by, at home by myself checking yep. the bank statements going up, you know, what I'm am I gonna do? Let's get into this book because you said you didn't want to get up in the morning, but you obviously found success in the morning. Yeah. What kind of changes are we talking about here? And what's all this talk about in six minutes you can change your life? Because I, I want to know. Yeah, well, it's, it sounds like a gimmick, but it's not. Okay. No, for me, um, I, I realized I had to make a change in my life. You know, it finally hit me. A friend had a conversation and I, I confessed I'm depressed, things aren't going well. And uh, I decided the next morning that I was going to wake up an hour earlier than I had to, okay. which most Americans waste the morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. They 
wait till the last minute until they have to wake up. And I, I woke up the next morning and I did six of the most powerful personal development practices that I had ever learned but never done. Meditation, visualization, affirmations, exercise, reading, and journaling. Whoa. All in an hour. Those okay. are all of my mental health activities. Exactly. <laughs> Every all single one of them. Yeah. Okay. Now, what if you're yeah. not a morning person? What I wasn't a morning person. People? Um, well, read the book. I mean, that, you know, okay. I, and I actually have in the book, there's a chapter called The Five Step Snooze Proof Wake Up Strategy mm -hmm. for okay. the snoozeaholics, right? Yeah. Which is what I was, which is hit the snooze button over and over. So it literally teaches you how do you make waking up in the morning easy if you're not a morning person? Because if yeah. you can do all those things, you feel set for the day. Like you've already taken control in that hour that is your hour. That's and you what know, happened. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm just going to say, you also say there's three things that we shouldn't do yeah. in the morning. In the morning. And yeah. I do all of them. I don't know. I'm going to confess. Yeah. Uh, the first one and was the snooze button. Do not hit the snooze button. What's up with that one? And, and the reason, again, most Americans waste their morning. They hit the snooze button over and over until the last minute. Yeah. And they leave, head out the door, and then they just rinse and repeat. Come home, veg out in front of the TV, and do the okay. same thing. And the idea is that the morning time is when it science proves our willpower is the strongest. It hasn't mm -hmm. been worn out yeah, all day. That's right. So mentally, that's emotionally, true. and physically, okay. it's, our, it's the strongest. We should work on things that move us toward, and towards us. Do not I'm start not, with coffee. I'm not liking the second one yeah. at all. <laughs> not no. a fan. We're not allowed to We're have coffee? A, what does no that mean? Coffee. People always throw coffee. things at me when I share that. No. I, so I'm with you. Not, not do not have anymore. coffee. Do not start with coffee. And here's okay. why. When we wake up in the morning, eight hours without water, we're dehydrated by default. So I pound a glass of water, and I love coffee. Then I drink coffee. Head to Starbucks, get your favorite latte, but not till you rehydrate. Facebook? Okay. I like no Facebook. It. The, the last one, don't check Facebook first thing. And the reason is, or email for that matter. Okay. And not first thing. The first thing. Yeah, you can yeah. get to it. But here's the point is it goes back to that first thing. Your willpower is the strongest. Mm -hmm. Work on your goals and dreams. Start writing that book that you've wanted to write. Train yeah. for that marathon. Work, start that business. Then once you've spent 30 to 60 right. minutes on an important activity that yeah. moves you closer to what work you want to Work on that life. visualization, meditation, yeah. exercise. Yeah. Work on yourself before you start Do engaging your in social morning, media. And then go waste your yeah. time on Facebook, right? It's yeah. funny. Every I'm time just you motivated see... by the energy. Yeah, My God, I know, you have right? energy galore. He's like jumping out of it. Every time you see those articles, to about what the most successful people do, it, the theme that is continues always is in the morning. They yeah. get up early in the morning. So yeah. if this can help the miracle morning, then I am all for it. I'm going to be reading this. Thank you so much, Hal, for yeah. coming by our show. And make sure you guys pick it up. The book is called The Miracle Morning.